I have included both 2018 and 2019 plus version. Let me show you how to edit this template. Let's open the project. In case, it's showing media offline then install motion graphics template. Go to essential graphics. Click on this icon to import the template. I have also included Mograt file. Import Mograt according to your Premiere Pro version. I have already installed it, so I am not going to import it again. Place template to the timeline and delete the old motion graphics template. I am not going to delete it because it's working fine. Now let's import the logo. Go to the logo sequence. Place the logo to the timeline. I am scaling the logo down. Hide the text layer. It looks good. You can also change shape color. Click on template to edit text and shape color, position, and scale. Add your channel name here. If you are using Premiere Pro 2019 or above version you can change text font and size here. Premiere Pro 2018 user can change text size here. Add your tagline here. The 2018 user can change text position and scale here. Change font here. In case if you want to change subscribe and subscribe text, you can change it here. Here you can adjust the subscribe text rectangle size. These settings are for those who want to use their own subscribe language. You can also adjust the pointer position. Change text color here. Change rounded rectangle colors here. Change logo circle stroke color here. Here you can change pointer color. Now let me show you how to export this template in transparent mode so that you can use it as an overlay. Go to File Export Media
Select Format QuickTime. Select Animation and Video Codec. Click on Match Source. Check on Render at Maximum Depth. In Depth, select 8 bit per channel plus alpha. Also, check on Use Maximum Render Quality. Now export it. Now you can use this exported clip as an overlay. That's it. Thanks for watching.